Article 123 of the Constitution stipulates that if the current parliament is not dissolved before the government's tenure ends, lawmakers will contest the next general elections as incumbent parliamentarians. Experts speak against this article. Awami League leader Shunjit Sengupta says that the ruling party is ready to talk with the opposition on this issue. The 15th Amendment to the Constitution scrapped the Kataka government system. The amendment also restored Article 123 of the 1972 Constitution, which allows elections without dissolving Parliament. If the current Parliament completes its five-year term, then the next elections should be held between the 24th of October 2013 and the 24th of January 2014. If the Parliament remains in place, it will cast doubt over the acceptability of the polls. Parliament cannot influence any polls as parliamentarians have neither executive nor judicial powers. Shuranjit, who was also the co-chairman of the Special Committee on Constitution Amendment, says that the interim government is no bar to fair polls. Parliament will not affect the level playing field during elections. Yes, the match will be played, but between unequal teams. The election will be held, but it won't be fair and acceptable. However, Shahdin Malik expresses doubt over the credibility of elections under a partition government. If the elections are held under a partisan government, people will have no faith in the election results. So most people may not turn up to vote. If the opposition wants to talk about this, we, the ruling party, will welcome them. We are ready to talk. Bangladesh has never seen an election held under an effective parliament as dictated by Article 123 of the Constitution. The ongoing debate over the type of government to oversee the next general elections now casts a fresh light on the article.